What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Q&A video. Now about three weeks back I posted the first Q&A video um, and asked you guys if you wanted to see a part two, leave a question in that comment section. I had plenty of questions so that's what I'm doing right here right now. Q&A part two, if you guys want to see a part three, part four, uh, drop a like and leave a question down below in that comment section. Um, but let's get straight into these questions. Actually I just want to address something first. On the first Q&A video, somebody asked if you guys could see my parents. I answered it with, that's going to be near impossible because my father died when I was a kid and my mother is seriously ill, so it's going to be near impossible for you guys to see my parents. Now, I didn't answer the question expecting sympathy from you guys. I mean, that is not the sort of person I am whatsoever. My life is what it is. I mean, I've had many bad things happen in my life, but I've also had many great things as well. YouTube and you guys being one of them. So, although I do appreciate all the support and all the sympathy, for you guys thrown at me because of the situation with my parents I really didn't expect it and I did not answer that question expecting it well actually looking back at it now um, knowing what great guys and the great support you guys show me um, it's looking back at it now answering the question the way I did and telling you guys about my parents I expected nothing more so thank you for the support but honestly I did not expect it I really didn't I didn't answer it expecting it. I don't expect sympathy. I do not want sympathy. I mean, like I said, I've had many bad things happen in my life, but I've also had many great things too. But enough of that shit, enough of that negative shit. Let's just get straight into the video. Now, the first question is from Rune Reed. Have you ever been to the US of A or have you been to the US? Um, I've actually been to the US twice. Both times I was invited by Bungie, um, Destiny Creators, to play the DLCs um, and had great, great times. Seattle is where I went. It's an amazing in place and I could easily live there I really couldn't that's no lie I could leave Brummie Town in England of UK and I could go and live in America I really could next question is from Brooklyn Hamill I think that's how you pronounce your name I apologize if it ain't instead of raids what is your favorite strike now my favorite strike is actually Winter's Run the uh, Arkham Priest and I'm actually so glad that they're bringing it back revamped with Taken style I mean the best strike in my opinion, the one I most enjoyed. Um, coming back, Taken themed, absolutely epic. Next question is from, I can't even pronounce that, Terminal Velocity, I think that says. Why do people use numbers in their names? Um, are you, I think that says, are, are you sure you want your first car to be a £20,000 sports car? Um, it's a little too late for that to be honest, avoid actually, well, um, in the last video, somebody asked me, do I drive? And I answered the question with basically, I was doing my test pretty soon. I've actually done my test now. I passed my driving test. I can't officially drive. The day after, I brought my car. Um, I do actually plan on doing a vlog on the car because it's absolutely incredible. But I'll show you guys a little picture right now of my actual car and it's it's just so, so sexy, it really is. Uh, but expect a vlog pretty soon of that. I'm just trying to get a few cameras to set up inside the car, etc, etc. Could be another week, could be another two weeks, but I will do a vlog on the car. So thanks for your question. Next one we have is Simon Fox. Are you... Oh shit, yeah, this is something actually I meant to address. Now, on, on the um, last video, someone asked me if I had a girlfriend, etc. I basically said that I've actually got a girlfriend of 11 years and i got a daughter who is 7. Um, I said girlfriend, but I should have said fiancé. A lot of people are saying now you've been with her 11 years, blah, blah, blah. You ain't married yet. You ain't even proposed. I have to put, well... Proposing ain't my sort of thing. I mean, I mean, I ain't a lovey-dovey sort of person. Yes, I brought her a ring. Yes, we are getting married, but I didn't get down on one knee. Um, that's just not me. But yes, we are getting married, and we are getting married next year, 2017. Uh, but like I said, my personal life is my personal life, and you probably won't hear much of it on YouTube other than from in Q&A videos. Uh, but yeah, next question, and I should have addressed that at the start, so I apologise for that. Uh, the Destiny Guide, how excited are you for the new DLC for Destiny? Now listen, I am absolutely super excited. Uh, I am recording this on Monday the, f the 11th. I'm looking at the date on my PC. Monday the 11th. Uh, the DLC comes out tomorrow. I am super excited for it. I mean, for me, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I haven't been on Destiny and played the game in way over a month. I mean, yes, I've run around the tower looking at certain things. Haven't done a strike, haven't done a raid, haven't done Prison of Elders, haven't done a Nightfall. In over a month, easily. I mean, it's just because I've got nothing to play for. A lot of people say, well, you ain't 320 yet. No, I ain't 320 yet. I am 318. The point is, when the DLC comes out tomorrow, I can get one 
335 actual piece of armour or weapon and it will take me over that 320 so there's no point in me going and grinding raids now to get to 320 when I can just basically do one thing, one activity when a DLC comes out, get one item and go straight over 320. So for me, I'm actually enjoying the break I'm having away from Destiny now and I do plan to grind the motherfucking shit out of it come DLC day tomorrow and expect plenty of videos on it. I mean, I will do plenty more videos than you guys have been seeing recently on my channel. So stay tuned for that. Next question is from Jordi. Campy Strano, I think that says, pizza or cheeseburger? Damn, now that's a hard question. Now, I do have uh, bad meal days once a week, sometimes twice a week, depends how I'm feeling. And sometimes I ever go to TGI Fridays and I have a fat cheeseburger or I order a pizza. So that's a hard question. The way I'm feeling now, start of the week, I ain't gonna have a cheat meal until probably Saturday. I could probably eat a cheeseburger. Well, if someone put a pizza in front of me, I'm going to eat that too. Uh, next question is from Chris Tolman. Show us some art. Okay. Um, now, you guys probably know, you probably don't know. I actually love drawing. And I used to do drawing giveaways on my channel. Um, probably will bring that back sometime in the future. Who knows? Uh, but I'll show you guys some of my drawings right now. Now, a lot of these are really old, so don't judge me. Next question is from Tarek Bajabar. Bajabar? I cannot pronounce your second name. I apologize for that. Did Bungie invite you to play the Taken King before release or invite you to play anything? Yes, I. I answered this question, didn't I, earlier? I got invited to play the two DLCs in Seattle by Bungie and I had basically the time of my life absolutely amazing times both times I mean I got to meet some great great YouTubers all the best Destiny YouTubers I met Datto, More Console who I've met a couple of times um, Bife who's a legend um, Encroach uh, Enrage Cinema Planet Destiny peeps so many I would say he's now but he's a cunt so um, but all the others I met and they're amazing people next up we have a question from Moose Miner. What an amazing name. Um, at around 2.56, you said you broke your rib. How did you do it? Uh, yes, I did say in my first Q&A, I broke my rib. That was when somebody asked me, do I lift and do I bench? Um, I actually broke my rib. I actually was lying back, uh, dumbbell pressing, dropped the dumbbell on myself, broke my rib. It was a 40 kg dumbbell. And I, I sort of half caught it. And bam. It just hit my rib and I didn't know my rib was broken for at least a month. I was just getting this continuous achy pain whenever I was going to gym, when I was waking up in the morning and I just thought I'd get it checked out. And it was actually a broken rib. I was going to gym for about a month and a half with a broken rib. Anything bad, that shit could have popped out of my chest and blood kind of gone all over everybody. Uh, but luckily it never. So <laughs> yes, I broke my rib by dropping a dumbbell on myself. My left arm, so my left arm's always been weak. I broke it when I was a kid, um, falling off a climbing frame in school. And it's never really been that strong. It's strong, don't get it twisted, but it's not as strong as my right arm. Um, my right arm being my primary masturbating arm. I should have said that, I'm going to cut that out if I remember to. But yes, my left arm's always been relatively weaker than my right arm. So... Um, it just give way and nothing I can do about it. I won't be lifting 40kg dumbbells anytime in the near future just because of that. Next question is from Silver1989. Why DPJ? What does it stand for? Or does it stand for anything? Or does it stand for something? Yes, DPJ is my initials. My first name being David. Um, my second name being beginning with P and my third name beginning with J. DPJ, that is what my name is. Simple as that, uh, my initials. Uh, next question is from Lucas can't pronounce your second name, I apologise for that. What did you study in college? Well, I studied in college art and design, 3D art, pottery, graphic design, um, and a couple of other things. Basically, art, drawing, painting, fancy computer designing, pottery, moulding, shit. That's what I did, uh, That's what I love to do, um, and that's what I studied in college. Was I any good at it? I think I actually was. I got top grades in everything. Apart from actually photography, photography was one I did as well. Photography I got a B, um, but everything else I got basically top score, which was an A. Um, Anthony Smith, do you use thumb grips on your remotes? What sensitivity do you play it on? Now, I actually don't use, where's my controller? There it is. Now, I actually don't use thumb sticks. Um, I used to use a thumb stick on both. Then I switched to on using one on my uh, right thumb stick, but then I took it off. I mean, I went for years playing with one on my right thumb stick. Um, playing Call of Duty and 
I got so used to it when I took it off, I couldn't play. Or when I went to a friend's house and they didn't have these thumbsticks, I couldn't use the controller. I mean, it just got to a stage where I thought, this is just stupid, it's pathetic. My fucking chair. Uh, this is just stupid, pathetic. So I took it off. And taking it off, in my opinion, I want to, it just feels better now. It feels better than it ever did before. My controller is standard, so yeah, I don't use thumbstick sensitivity. I play on, on Call of Duty, I always play on top sensitivity. On Destiny, I don't play on top uh, because I don't snipe much. I used to snipe all the time on Call of Duty. I run around with throwing knives and shit. So I always had to have top sensitivity for that. On Destiny, I rarely snipe. Um, so I think I've, I can't remember, is it up to 10? I think I have about six or seven. I'm not certain, but yeah, I think it's about six or seven. Next question is from, can't pronounce your name. What does that say? Acruzio. <sighs> can't believe this question has not been asked in this video. So here it comes, pancakes or waffles? Now, believe it or not, I cannot stand either. I don't like waffles and I do not like pancakes. So hope that answers your question. Next question is from the Nighthawk20. I've got one question. Why do you do the most cringe-worthy British accent? It annoys me so much. Well, I apologise if my voice annoys you, but I ain't, I ain't, ain't. like it. You're asking me why do I do the most cringe-worthy. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just speaking how I speak. This is just the way I speak. If you don't like it and don't like my shit, get the fuck off my channel. Simple as that. Next question is from Valley Browns. Now, I apologise if that's not how you pronounce your name. Some people have some weird-ass names on the internet. Have you ever been noticed on the street? Actually, I have. I was actually noticed three weeks back in the gym by a dude doing some back machine shit. Um, at first, I thought he was going to ask me to spot him, but then he come up to me and said, you're a destiny. YouTube, I watch your videos, this and that, and I couldn't believe it, to be honest. The gym I've been going to for about four years, some dude noticed me in there, absolutely crazy. And I was also noticed about about a year ago when I was shopping in city centre with my girlfriend and daughter. Uh, some little kid come to me with his mother, um, noticed me from YouTube, said he loved my videos, which was epic, it really was. But other than that, I haven't really been noticed, which is, in my opinion, good because I, like I said I'm super super shy dude and I, I wouldn't know what to say to people I really don't. Next question is from Jose Bro Comedy. Uh, are you going to play No Man's Sky? Now this is a game when I first saw the trailer 2 looked absolutely incredible. I thought yes I got a PS4 my PS4 is ready and waiting for this game um, but I haven't seen anything else on it. I mean yes there have been other trailers but I haven't really looked up any of that shit. From what I first saw from that first trailer, it looked incredible. Reading this question now, I'm gonna go back and have another look, see what new, what they're showing, what else is, uh, what other features the game offers. Um, if it looks as good as what I remember, yes, I will definitely be getting it. Next question is from Andy Dirksen. How many hours do you have in Destiny? And what game have you played the most? Well, I can straight up say Destiny is the game I've played the most, 100%. Last time I looked, I had over 3,000 hours. Um, I will look again now and put it on screen, but it's definitely over 3,000 hours. At this moment in time, I ain't certain, but it's definitely over 3,000 hours. Next question is from Jay's MC Epic. Would you ever consider playing a racing game like The Crew? I actually do play racing games. My favourite one being Forza Horizon, but I just don't post them on YouTube. It's I haven't got an audience for these games. I mean, I play lots of other games, but I just haven't got an audience for them. So I stick on my YouTube channel to what you guys want to see, and that mainly being Destiny. But yes, I do play other games. Uh, I haven't got the crew, did like the look of it, but I've got Forza Horizon, I've got Need for Speed. I love that type of game. Um, next question is from Sean Cousins. How tall are you? I am um, about 5 foot 10, I think. About 5 foot 10. I haven't actually measured myself but I do believe I'm about 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11 at most at a stretch on my tiptoes. Um, David Starnes, I think that's how you pronounce your name, hold on a sec, by your own words 150 kg which isn't amazing okay. I live in the US, don't judge me, I won't judge you. Uh, so I did some conversions to get a better understanding of the weight. I weigh just under 100 kg, I'm not really muscular more toned than anything. So to me, 150 kg or 330 pounds for the rest of non-metric users is pretty amazing. Also, if you only weigh like 80 kg or something like that, I never heard you say your weight. So yeah, about twice your body weight is pretty damn good. Give us some perspective. Um, I actually weigh about 16 stone, which I do believe, I'm actually not sure. Let me quickly make a conversion on, <laughs> on Google. Uh, I'll cut this out of the video, don't worry about that. So I guess doing uh, a little conversion, I weigh 16 stone, which is 
101 kg which is also let me have a look how much is that in pound that's 224 pound that's what i weigh currently um and i actually when i broke my rib and i, and I like eight weeks after gym i actually drops about a stone and a half so i used to weigh like 17 stone which is a shit ton um let me just see how much that would be in, in kg 17 would be 107.9 kg which is damn heavy that in pound is 138 pound Fucking hell, I was a fat motherfucker. So yes, um, and I actually, I did say in my video the most I've ever lifted was 150 kg. And I think I did about three reps, be inspired. I mean, I couldn't lift that now. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't lift that now. The most I lifted uh, last Friday, um, just topping up a little bit of exercises throughout the week, I did 100 kg. Um, wasn't extremely hard. I probably could have gone heavier. But because of my broken, well not my broken rib, my ribs mended now. But because of my rib scenario and situation, I'm scared to go heavier. Um, probably the most I could do, probably 120 at the moment. Uh, but I will get back up to about 140, 150. Um, probably in the next, probably three months, four months, if the way I'm going now, three or four months. Uh, next question is from Gianni Trung. I apologise again if that's not how you pronounce your name. I manage North America for a UK based company and I can't stand their accents. There being 90% of my colleagues. Yours however is interesting, it's different and quite soothing to be honest. Your inflections are upside down and opposite, laughing out loud. Is there a name for it? Region, accent, nationality. Now you've been crazy for loving my accent, my accent's fucked up. Um, region, nationality, accent. I am from Birmingham, UK, uh, Birmingham, England. I live, I'd say, in an area populated with mainly Pakistan, uh, Pakistani and black people. Most of my childhood friends were black people and Pakistani people. Uh, probably had an influence on the way I speak. Uh, my mum being a white lady, my dad being half Pakistani, half Tunisian. Uh, half my family being Pakistani and Tunisian probably has some effect on the way I speak. I mean, my accent is fucked up. It's here, there and everywhere. And a lot of you guys find it hard to even understand me. And I'm actually speaking slower now than I actually normally speak. Because if I speak fast, trust me, you guys, you would not understand me for light or day. Uh, so yes, my accent is all over the shop. Um, region, Birmingham, England. Nationality, British, Pakistani, Tunisian, white. All over the shop. Um, next question from Mike Tour. Chicken nuggets or boobs? Boobs, man. I don't like chicken nuggets, but boobs all day, every damn day. Dusty Cleveland. How many actual friends do you have a friend from in a foreign country? Uh, you're not English. How many actual friends do you have from a foreign country? Let's just answer that. Um, the only friends I have from a foreign country... The internet friends, I mean, I've got internet friends and I've got real life friends. I mean, I don't really have many friends from foreign countries apart from friends that have been raised and grown by me and moved to a foreign country. But I haven't been to other countries enough to actually make really good friends over there. I mean, I've got plenty of internet friends, don't get it twisted. Plenty of friends that I've made over Xbox Live, over YouTube, over Twitter, from the Destiny community. Uh, but they're all, they're all basically internet friends. They ain't people I really know in real life, only via the internet, like I said. So yes, not many fun friends, I'm afraid. Next question is from Jay Munster. You can now go invisible. What would be the first thing you would do? Uh, with a question mark. Dirty motherfucker. What would I do? I gotta get women's changing rooms out of my head because I don't want to sound perverted. Um, so other than that, what would I do? I don't know. I wouldn't rob a bank because that ain't like me. Um, I don't know. I'd probably take a few crazy ass sports car for a spin, take them keys, go into showrooms, drive out in a Skyline, drive out in a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. That's probably the first thing I'd actually do. Um, other than that, I don't know what I would do, to be honest. Uh, so moving on. Next question is from Llama Boy. You mentioned you have a daughter. How many times have you seen Frozen? Can you sing along all the songs? Um, my daughter, there was a stage in my daughter's life where she watched this shit every damn day, and I mean every day, every day. And um, so yes, I can probably sing. I got a cup of coffee, yeah. Damn, is it cold? I could probably sing every one of the songs from backwards. I could probably sing that shit backwards. I really could. It's a bit cold. Moving on now. Um, next question is from Shanley Shikari. 
<laughs> or Shakud, some crazy ass names man. Have you ever thought about stopping YouTube? Yes, before Destiny came out, um, I was posting all sorts of shit and actually thought my mind state at that precise moment in time, I remember it being, sooner or later I will have to stop YouTube because it just ain't doing it for me. I mean, I ain't enjoying what I'm posting, I ain't enjoying the games I'm posting, they ain't getting the views, um, and well, just getting views, don't get it twisted, I was getting just about enough to support me and my life and my current situation at that precise moment in time. But I could see it was going downhill, and that was before Destiny came out. And that moment, I was thinking about stopping Destiny. I mean, stopping YouTube. Sorry. Then Destiny hit, and then my channel just went pudum. So it sort of picked. It sort of like it launched itself back up for the better. So at my my current mind frame, um, no, I do not think I will be stopping YouTube anytime in the near future. But yes, there was a moment in time where I did think about stopping YouTube. Uh, Daniel Barfalama Are you going to do more watchdogs online? No, I ain't. Unless watchdogs, unless they're Ubisoft or whoever the fuck made it, make a number two. I don't think I'll ever post watchdogs again on my channel. As much as I loved it, it just didn't have an audience. But number two, if they did do that, I would post it on my channel just to see if you guys enjoyed it. Um, next question is from, what is wrong with people's motherfucking names, man? Grief of the spleefer? Grief of the fuck, I don't even fucking know. Grief of the motherfucking spleefer. Um, your DPJ, booty or boobies? I'm an ass, man. I mean, I like boobies, but I'm an ass. I like that perfect ass. That perfect shit ass. I love it. I love that shit. Um, I think that could have been the last question. I think, actually, 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 wait there. Um, unless I've just actually just written down the same ones twice. Um, no, actually, isn't the last one. Another one from Liam Day. Will you ever quit YouTube or Destiny? No, as long as they're both thriving, which they are, I will continue to do them, my buckers. Um, next question is from Jack Taylor. Now, I am coming towards the end of my questions. Now, I believe. What motorbike do you have? Now, I've got a car. I actually don't ride my motorbike. But um, the motorbike I do have is a Gileva DNA 180. I did make a video on it way, way, way back. Uh, but I'll show you guys a video, uh, well, picture on screen now of it. It's a beast. It's my first actual form of transport. And it's actually pretty quick. Top speed of about 85 mile an hour, which is fast for a 180, it really is. Uh, looking sexy, as you can see by that picture. But yeah, that was my actual motorbike. And I will not get another motorbike in my life because they're too damn dangerous. Um, and I do believe that was the last question. I'm quickly going through and I think I've answered all of these. So yes guys, that was the last question. Uh, but like I said, if you guys do want to see another Q&A, you leave a question down below in the comment section. I will do my best to answer any sort of question you guys want to ask. Ask it down below in that comment section. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. Thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you guys on that next one.